1 John 5, 7 For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. In this verse we see that the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost are all separate beings but are also the same. This is what we would call the Trinity, meaning God as one being existing eternally in three distinct persons. You probably noticed that the Word has a few different names. In John 1.1, 1, 1, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now in the same chapter, look at verse 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We see that the Word was made flesh and is the only begotten of the Father. We know the only begotten Son of God and the Word are clearly Jesus Christ. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all different from each other, but they are all the same being, the one and only God. Similar to how we're composed of a spirit, a soul, and a body, they are all separate from each other, but they are all 100% you. Your spirit is what allows us to communicate with God in prayer. Our soul is our mind and personality that allows us to have emotions, including love and a free will. And our body is what we use to serve God, whether it be helping someone or preaching the gospel. The members of the Trinity also have their different functions. The Father is our creator and provider. Jesus is our savior, mediator, teacher, and example. The Holy Ghost is our convictor, comforter, teacher, empowerer, and intercessor.